UFC 258 is about to happen, folks. UFC 258, of course, is headlined by... Where the hell is Kelvin Gastelum? It's not headlined by Kelvin Gastelum, but I'm trying to find Kelvin here. And I'm not really sure where he's at. Where is... There he is. There's his big head and, and beard. There he is. So... UFC 258 is headlined, of course, by Kamaru Usman. Of course, he is facing um, Gilbert Burns. That's going to be a really good one. We're still going to do fighter showcases for that. But for today, for now, we are using Calvin Gastelum. And we are facing Nick Diaz in the very first fight. Should be very interesting. Let's get it. And Calvin Gastelum is someone that... Um, that I've been trying to use more of just because I, I really want to improve my southpaws. Like, using southpaws, I'm not very good at southpaws in this game. It's one of the few reasons why I don't really like using Conor McGregor, to be completely honest with you guys. But, um... Checks the leg kick. But yeah, it's very important to... To learn to use southpaws because, I mean, for one, with some southpaws in this game, depending on what their switch stance is, if, if it's very low, of course it affects... Can we not do this? Stop it. Anyways, if you're using a southpaw with low switch stance switch stat, it affects their power, and you're going to be at a disadvantage if you're trying to switch stances. If you're trying to go with the conventional because you're more comfortable there. So, um, I'm trying to... Trying to get better with these southpaws so I don't have to do that. And also because if what I'm hoping happens in UFC 5 actually happens where the stance switch, where the stat that governs stance switches actually affects more than power. If that happens and if it affects the, the fighter's blocking ability, your, your footwork, your head movement, um... You know, your ability to shoot takedowns, ability to de defend against takedowns. Basically, everything changes when you switch your stances. If it affects more than strike power, right? It's going to be very important to know how to fight from both stances. So, we're thinking ahead, folks. Might as well start now to learn how to fight from both stances. Because if your fighter is a southpaw fighter, and let's say you're more comfortable fighting from the conventional stance and you switch... It is going to really hurt you, so. In, in UFC Undisputed 3, for example, like, fighters who don't switch stances are not even allowed to switch. You know, like, EA kind of is quite lenient with it. Everyone can switch to whatever stance they want. But uh, in UFC Undisputed 3, like, if you're not known for switching your stances, you you literally cannot switch your stance in UFC Undisputed 3. So, you're straight up forced to fight from that stance. You know, someone like Tiago Alves in that game, you cannot go southpaw. No matter what you try to do, you can't go southpaw. You must fight from conventional. If your leg is damaged or whatever... Too bad, <laughs> you're stuck. So, nice. To the body. Alright, good round. Very good round. Kelvin Gastelum, of course, is set to face Ian Heinish. I would do a fighter showcase for Ian Heinish, but he is not in the game, so can't really do that. Can't really do that. Um, after this, we'll see if we can get a few games in with uh, Usman, and maybe, thank you, maybe we'll do one for Gilbert Burns. I might not be able to get to it. We'll see. Sends me right back. It's a nice shot. February is looking very good on YouTube, too. Like, the month of January was very bad, but January is usually bad. It's usually very, very bad. And then things start to recover again in February. So this month is looking pretty goddamn good. And uh, I have all of you guys to thank for that. Thank you. 
showing up, liking the videos. Right now we're averaging about like 2,000 likes a video, which I think is pretty ridiculous. I never thought that, you know, I'd get to a point where I'm, well, I, I knew I would get to that point, but just not so quick, you know? But 2,000 likes in a video, we're doing pretty goddamn good. To the body, to the body. I'm trying to see if I can work his body just because, of course, the biggest thing to worry about when you're facing a Diaz is the durability and their stamina. Durability and stamina, got to worry about that. Be careful with that. I told you. I'm going to get back up. There's nothing here. Worry about that conditioning because these guys will not get tired at all. And if you gas out and a Diaz is not gas out and he still has a lot of energy, you are getting swarmed, you're getting mauled on the feet. So, careful with that, brother. Sit him down again. We're doing pretty goddamn good in this round. We've dropped him twice now, a third time. Oh, boy. My dog is barking for some fucking reason. Now you guys will notice his block. Get out of here. Oh my god, what's going on? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. What is this? Yo, that looks so freaking dope. Oh my god, EA, can we please get this camera option in the game? This is, ins this looks beautiful, look at this! Can barely, it's hard to fight with this, but see now, now, now I'm in a good spot. I'm gonna stay right here, set him down, and that should be it. Wow, I have no idea what just happened, how we ended up with that camera right there but that is so dope dude that is such a dope camera angle ah uh, brings me right back to one of my wish lists for this game man we need more camera angles man especially for replays we need instant replay that's for one and a free roam camera where we can switch it around to whatever angle we want can we please get that please because that that last sequence right there was really really dope go ahead and leave a like for that folks if you've not done that, just go right ahead and do that. That was beautiful. And the way we finished him right there, gorgeous. Well, this is the man they are all Let's move on. Alright, so we're, we're getting some interesting matchups today. We're facing Nick Diaz. Now it's Robbie Lawler. Hobby Lawler. I like it. Robbie Lawler, of course. Um, gotta right, worry so about the power too. Thank you. He goes, now. see, but right here he goes, he goes conventional. So I just don't know if it's a good idea. I don't know if Robbie doesn't really have a high uh, stance switch stat. He doesn't. There you go. He's back to southpaw though. And he's actually doing something very interesting right here. I think he's trying to role play Robbie Lawler because you'll notice. So far, he throws, look at that, yeah, he throws, moves his head. Dude is really keeping his head off the center line, and that's going to make him tricky. We'll see what we can do here. Like kick. Damn it. I don't want to get, keep getting hit by that. That that forward movement slip into a hook. Wow, he is being very creative right now. Well, I don't want to say creative. Um, uh, unpredictable. That's the word I'm looking for. He's being very unpredictable right now because 
the combinations he's throwing, like he's not starting the strikes with the same strike every single time, like right there to the body, slip, uppercut, then he goes for a flying knee, he goes for a leg kick, he goes for a shot to the body, yeah, it's quite unpredictable, which is going to make him a bit difficult to deal with, I think. Got him. Got him. Got him. The way I always get him with that uppercut when they go to the body. Honestly, man, I feel like a lot of my... A lot of the drops that I get will probably be cut down in more than half if opponents stop going to my body, honestly speaking. Like, a lot of the drops I get in this game is a result of that. Just go to my body, get uppercutting. No, oh, got me back. Don't do it. Set him down himself. So now we're just dropping each other. What the fuck? Oh my god. Rock'em so... Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. EA Sports UFC 4 Brain Trauma Edition. Right there. Look at my stamina, man. Ugh. I was really hoping that I would not let this man get me into this car crash type of a game, but that's exactly what just happened, man. We just we just blasted each other all over the place. I think I think he might have dropped me more than I dropped him in that round, which of course gives him the round. Round two on the way. Thank you. Hey, it's it's fun for you guys though. That was a fun exchange right there. Someone in, the, someone in the crowd is screaming, punch him in the head. That's what I'm trying to do. And that's what he's trying to do to me as well. You see, you don't see that slip too often. That slip he did where he slipped to the outside of my shot and then threw a lead hook. Usually, players are slipping to the inside and then throwing a rear hook. Like right there. Slipped to the inside, throw a rear hook, but he slipped to the outside and came up with a lead hook, which is interesting. Got him. Can I sit him down here? Por favor. Por favor. Yeah, keep doing that. Don't, don't, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck against the cage, though. Ain't gonna be good for ya, buddy. Getting stuck against the cage against me will not be good for your buddy. I'm telling you right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, well, good fight, brother. Good fight. That is, uh, that was emphatic. Out of nowhere, the KO. Woof. Random pullback uppercut leads to a KO. Makes sense. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let's move on. So there he is after a way matchup between Kelvin Gastelum and Robert Whitaker. Okay, so now Kelvin Gastelum is about to fight Robert Whitaker. And I'm going to try my very best to beat this man, but I'm not not really sure if I'm going to be able to do it in round number one, but I'm going to keep trying though. I might be able to do it in round number two, or maybe round number three, or maybe round number four or five. Who knows? Who knows? So, I'm going to, uh, oh, Rob, Robot just hit me with a sidekick to the, to the, to the body. I don't really like that. I'm going to have to ask this man to stop trying to hit me with sidekicks to, to my body like that. Stop! Stop it! Boom! To your own body. Sorry, headphone users. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, damn. That's not the way I wanted the fight to start off, but Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. 
Oh, this shit's lagging. What the hell? Can someone please tell me how the hell I ended up in a fight like this is all lagging and shit? Can someone explain that to me? Huh? Because I checked the ping before this, and it was okay. Now it's lagging. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Right hand upstairs! Boy. Another shot to the Boy. Head. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I she love throwing the jab. Yes. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys know. will start to fight behind a hungry. very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most Feed us. Punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right? And in MMA, nope. Guys Careful. You're about to get uppercut it into oblivion. Right now, right now. 90 seconds to go. You, a hunting deer. In the direction of deer. That right hand hurt bum, him a bum. little bit. Blocks the shot. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. He's just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Wood. This man just freaking spun around the whole entire octagon. I'll be honest with you guys, man. I don't really care about this fight too much. Because <laughs> this is lagging, man. Like, I'm, this is the type of fight that just, I get, I, I'm probably going to end up getting KO'd, honestly. Just, uh, it's just, there's no timing for anything right now. We'll see. Just try to make it work. Perhaps the, the game plan should be to push him, push him really hard. Yeah, that's what we're going to do in the next round. I'm just going to, yeah, next round I'm going to push him, try to get him to lash out at me. Maybe if I if if I get him to lash out, maybe I can catch him and get him out of there because this I can't play tit for tat with them. So I got to try to create chaos in there and maybe get him out of there. So chaos. Misses again with a right punch. All that smooth gasoline boxing on full display here, DC. I know he's a in the end, we will triumph. In the end, we will suffer. In the end, there will be only chaos. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Only chaos. Oh, nice there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right oh. direction. Mission accomplished. Oh, Got him. Can I please sit him down? Why is Wesley barking? Stop it. <laughs> Half guard. Back to full guard. No. See if we can fake that. Go to full guard. Fake it. Go again. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Reversed. Posture up. Can you stop it? Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to and use ground and pound. Oh, I thought that would be a fake. You got it. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the feet. Over and over, you guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Whitaker. Back to his feet. 46 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. There we go. This is where we will rush him. See if we can see if see if it's gonna work. Now I think it could work, or we could get blasted. But Jesus, dude, that spinning elbow into a left hook is funny as hell. Look at him. He's he's a uh, that man's a he's a cornered animal right now. Look at him. Look at him. He's a cornered animal. Lash out. Come on. Lash out. Lash out and give me some. Give me some. Got him. There we go. That's what I want. Just like that. 
to the body, to the head. That's what I want. Flash out. Oh boy, that's not what I want. No, oh, come on. It, it lags at that crucial moment. <sighs> Fuckity fuck fuck, man. Stop it. Again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I survived. Oh, well, that that really didn't work out like I thought it was gonna work out. But dude, we're we're just gonna keep doing it, man. It, it I either get KO'd or I stop this man. But I gotta I gotta force him to lash out. Thank you. This has to happen, man. This has to happen. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Great punch landing. So Stop power. it. Oh, man, that cut not in a good Oh, my place. God. I should hit him with my own overhand. Oh, he needs some milk. Leave me alone, bro. Don't jump. Don't, 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 don't. Come here. <sighs> this is not working out. I need to kill this man. Rob is so dangerous, man. Uh oh, just a dangerous guy. Like. Everybody he faces leaves the octagon with some kind of damage, but he's done. He is done. I believe that right there was, I believe that right there was a, um, a redirected body uppercut to the head, which by the way, those actually do more damage than regular uppercuts to the head, which is, you know, a little bit, uh, boom, iffy. That's what it was. That's definitely what it was. It was a redirected body uppercut. Whew. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. KO'd. Boom, boom, boom. I think maybe we have time for one more fight, so let's so get a it. Big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the next day welterweight tilt between Jorge Masvidal. Jorge Masvidal versus Kelvin Gastelum. You know what, man? That that last fight that we had, um. Kelvin versus Robert Whitaker. That's a fight that I really would have loved to see. Um, those two guys were set to fight each other in the past, but, you know, of course it didn't happen. Israel stepped in, and Israel ended up fighting Kelvin in what ended up being one of the absolute best fights in the UFC. But I'd still love to see those guys fight again eventually. I think their styles match up really well. Looks like we've got ourselves a neck grabber. Uh huh. Yep. That's one of those. It's one of those. Give me a neck. Give me your neck. Give me. Give me. Give me your neck. Right. There he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you right. he's, he's, about, he's about to do it. He's about to do it. He's about to do it right here. He's about to do it right here. Right here, he's going to do it. Watch. I can see his, his, his lead hand itching. Like, 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 like a crackhead itching to grab it. Itching. Come, yeah, it, it's itching. It, 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 it. Give me your neck. That man wants brain so bad. Ooh, ooh, give me your neck. Well, he continues to do nice get married, bro, so you can get all the neck you want. Sort of That's all you got to do, bro. Get married or get yourself a girlfriend. You can get neck whenever you want. I don't know why you're stepping in the octagon with UFC fighters trying to get neck. So just over 20 total strikes already have landed for Kelvin Gaston. To be a fight, bro. Not a neck. Neck exchange, neck given experience, oh, and there he goes again. neck Working championships of the world. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston 
it goes in and out. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a point. Ooh, what beautiful neck you have. Mind if I grab it? Jesus Christ, these players. Get off me. Get off me. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. <laughs> you just see something. You He's grabbing it with both hands now. He loves it so much. He's grabbing it with both hands. At first, there we go. Grabbing the neck with both hands now. It's like, oh, I love it so much. Both hands. It's like when you're French kissing your girl, and you're so passionately into it, you grab her head with both hands, and oh, oh, oh. this is such an incredible experience. I just want the the, the the fighter that's getting their neck grabbed to have an option, you know, have better options, more devastating options. Like, you know, if I could just blast you through the octagon, well, look at this, man. That'd be nice, but anyways, let's try to get this dude out of here. I would like to stop this fight. That's the, that's the goal. That's the goal. Stop the fight real quick. And probably end up needing neck surgery afterwards. Come here, bro. I'm gonna put you on your back for a sec. I'm gonna put you on your back for a second. No. Can you even do an arm bar from side control here? Can you do an arm bar from side control in the game? Nope, don't do it. You should be able to because from this position right here, you actually can. Like if you go back to side control. You would do it like Kelvin would use his his right his right arm to pull up on uh, what's his name on uh, Masvidal's right arm, but Masvidal would have to be framing. He'd have to be framing for you to be able to do that. When he frames, you pull up on the right arm, and then Kelvin would have to step over the head with his right leg, and then spin spin in that same exact direction, and end up with an arm bar, an arm bar on. Masvidal's right hand. That's the way that works. Like I said, Kelvin would have to be framing for you to uh, for you to really go for that. Maybe I'm just drawing a blank, but I land 1,000 punches. We got it. Back down, brother. He's having his way with him here. Back to the feet now. So we call on the fight stats here. 56 total strikes have landed for Kelvin. Kessler. Body. Got him. That man was trying to jump at me. Uh-oh. This is where it gets dangerous. This is where it gets deadly. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. He's getting boxed up. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. Uh-oh. Got him. Boy. That's like a vortex, man. Got him. I want the KO. Sit him down. I'll go for it. I only have 10 seconds. There we go. We got him. Usually, when I knock down an opponent, I don't really like going for the ground and pound from mount just because a lot of times it ends up being a waste of time. You waste stamina for no reason. If the opponent either pulls you down or they perform like an escape on one of the slips. But because I had like 10 seconds left, I figured, you know, there's really nothing to risk. So, teed off on him right there. Got the finish. And your boy is happy. But that's it, man. If you guys enjoyed the video... Do not forget to leave 
a like it helps out the channel like right now we average about 2,000 likes let's see if we can keep that going and I have all of you guys to thank for that so I appreciate it anyways I'm gonna see if I can do a showcase with Usman and also Gilbert Burns and maybe a showcase with one of the ladies May maybe Barbara we'll see we'll see it depends depends on how I'm feeling but that's it thanks for watching you guys rock I'll see you guys later with a brand new one as always stay safe peace out